I don't know. So I'm not a big believer in the, in the idea that, you know, well, we're going to maximize the number of tillers and we want to do that. I mean, what we want is yield. I don't care how it gets there. And probably there's many ways you can do it. Um, but, you know, I mean, clearly what you want to do is pack more material in. And so probably if you have thicker and more thicker tillers, it's probably good. That's what I would do if I was choosing. But I'll just select on yield. However it happens. That's the goal. Now, as far as transgene integration, that's a good question. But my... So... The way I'm looking at it is, you know, if, if, if somebody comes up with some good transgene or whatever, then we'll just start trying to, trying to, well, in alfalfa they, they, they call it a forward back crossing where you're crossing to a population and then taking those and crossing it to sort of your next generation of plants that you've been selecting anyway and to incorporate it into the population. So that's what we'll, that's what we'll do. So anything that we have here, I mean, whatever is the, the best material we have when Zach shows up with a gene, you know, is what we'll start crossing to. Oh, they seem to be waiting on these guys. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you, you trying to put in, Zach? Uh, a lot target. Some target both reducing lignin and increasing uh, cellulose. Others are in xylan synthesis. Um, but as far as like yield, you know, or like, you know, getting the most out of the sugars, they're looking for genes that work better for the, they call it the saccharification process, or just going from better, more easily from your biomass to sugars in a fermenter. So getting the material to break down easier. So most of them are reducing lignin, so RNAi knockouts of lignin, um, increasing cellulose over expressing cellulose related genes. Is it, I mean, they're lignin degrading microbes, that, right? I mean, that already exist and have been characterized. I mean, is it necessary to do that if you can break them down in a, in a bioreactor? If that's yes. what you're going to do? Why, why? It's not very efficient. It's the most costly well, process. I think that's, there, there are folks working on that end of it, mm -hmm. too, trying to find better bugs. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you can have better bugs and better plants. Yeah.